List for these cats, uh, some of the movies that you've AD'd. Uh, well, you said, uh, Magnolia, Boogie Nights, uh, Punch Drunk Love. Um, See, wait. All right. Let's stop right there. You've worked three times with Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah. What is, uh, what's that relationship like? Yeah. How is he, is he very detail oriented or is he the guy that's like, Hey man, do what you want. I'll show up when we're ready. No, no, he's extremely detail oriented. He's, ex- well, it's neat because, uh, two things. Uh, Boogie Nights and Magnolia were like every inch of that film was his mind. Like every inch of that film was like detail that he was all over. Like it's just, it's incredible. It's a really great experience. It's really neat. Mm. Punch Drunk Love, he tried something different. Uh, and, uh, you, you know, I think he really loved Adam Sandler and what he had to bring to the table and stuff like that. And he really wanted to, you know, try things and stuff. So he was, he was trying things. He was very different on Punch Drunk Love than he was on the others. And he was really, it was, it was, it was really neat to see. But the Boogie Nights and Magnolia experience was incredible. It was like, Oh, especially Magnolia. Magnolia was like a hundred day shoot. Like it was a long, long shoot. And we'd come into a, a set like this. Yeah. And Paul would say, the camera goes whipping down here. It comes up to the Christmas tree, a shot on you, a shot on me, a shot off the label over to the audience and blah, blah, blah. And we'd we, basically him and I would go there. Um, and a lot of times with the DP, it depends. Sometimes the DP starts a little later. But him and I would go and we'd walk through the set and he'd basically have me walk around to be the people. And we, he'd work out his shots and shot list kind of thing. And then, uh, on, at the tech scout, uh, which is when we take all the, everyone isn't on at the beginning of the movie. What happens is people come on slowly, but surely it's all budgetary constraints and things like that that dictate that. But basically, um, uh, all the technicians like the gaffer and the key grip and all the, the major people come on heads of department and we go to each place. Like we'll come here and we'll talk about it. And basically I'll say the shots that, Paul told me, mm. and I'll go boom, 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 the Christmas tree the, over the people, blah, 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 blah. And then what he'll, what will do, people will ask a few questions to Paul, and then everyone will take their measurements and their things for to get a crane in here or whatever it is, or a dolly that goes 45 miles per hour, mm. or whatever it may be. Uh, and then um, basically, uh, we come there like 80 days into our shoot, and it would be those exact shots it was incredible like it was amazing magnolia he didn't alter he didn't it wasn't like ah fuck it i've changed my mind no it was like boom 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 we shoot those things it was amazing like and it was all in his mind and it's amazing and what was amazing about him is he would i was there for every meeting everything every detail everything and then i watched the movie i go how the fuck did he do that like i didn't even see that what was he like it was it's amazing like i go oh that too fuck fuck him (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, it's incredible. No, it's just so layered. It's incredible. It really right. is. Inc- it's it was a really. He's a magician. Movie. He is. 